rock here. Excited since I'm out here, I might as well do a few of these series, so uh, bear with me. Another four minutes of hell workout coming at you. Right now, we're gonna do four minutes of hell push ups. So, let's talk about proper form and improper form again. An improper form push up. There's lots of things people do here that just are not correct. So, one of them is like so. Some people will come down and they say, guess what? Not a push up. Okay? Other people come down and they have their ass up. Also, not a push up. Now, we could get into pike push ups, etc., etc. That does count as a push up, but we're just talking basic push ups. That doesn't count. Okay? Something else that a lot of people do, and I'll show you from the front view, and it has to do with what we talked about on our previous episode about exhausting the muscle. Okay? So, how far should you be going either direction? Right? Obviously, if we're up on our elbows, we're resting. If we're down on our chest, we're resting. But it's also possible to underwork the muscle. Now that happens in the bicep, for example, by not giving it a full range of motion. If your bicep only moves that far, you're not really doing a whole lot to elongate and tear the muscle, which is part of the building process with recovery. So for a bicep, for example, you need to fully stretch and fully contract the muscle, but without resting. So that translates with push-ups into some people doing this. They'll be here, they'll have proper form, and they go like this. And they say, hey, I can do 80 or 90 push-ups. Guess what? You're not doing anything. You're wasting your time and you're wasting my time, so don't do it. Okay? Dog tags away. I'm going to show you a couple of standard push-ups. And of course, then we're going to go on to four minutes of hell. So a standard push-up, I'll give a three-quarter view. Come down, okay, you can start from here if it makes it easier, and what I like to do is just make sure my hands are right beside the line of my chest, my, my pectoral muscle. Okay, from here, you're always, always engaging your core. Your head is relaxed, you're not necessarily looking up or stretching your back. And you simply come up, notice my elbows aren't locked, and down. breathing, your chest comes all the way down, you come all the way up but I'm not locking my elbows, okay, I'm keeping my arms engaged, my chest engaged, I'm not back here, that's a different workout, I'm staying above that pectoral line, okay, that's a basic push up, now, four minutes of hell. You start with your hardest push-up. You do as many as you possibly can with good form. From there, you drop to the next difficulty. Same thing, go as long as you possibly can. From there, drop difficulty, guess what you do? You go as long as you possibly can. You keep dropping difficulty, you keep dropping difficulty until you feel like you're gonna die or your four minute timer goes. Now me, I use a gym boss timer. They're affordable, they've been reliable, you can get yourself one at gymboss.com. So, let me show you what I do for my four minutes of hell. First thing I like to do, I call a, a plyo push-up. I'm sure there's other names for it. But again, the key points to note is I'm not sagging, I'm not arching, I'm not cheating, I'm trying to maintain good form. This is a plyo push-up. Okay, you're here. Okay, your entire body comes up and off the ground. You're keeping your core engaged. Very important that it's a straight up and down motion. Okay, that's your challenging one. From there, you're gonna go just to a hand clap set. So again, you got your push up. Okay? You're clapping your hands. Okay? Oh, getting tired already just showing you this. So imagine how four minutes is going to feel. <laughs> okay, next is your regular push up. Okay? 
finally what's going to happen is you're going to get so tired that you're going to need to do what we call the girl push-up. Now it's important on a girl push-up that you're not just letting your legs stay out loose. You need to pull your leg up to your ass. I can say that on TV, right? <laughs> because you want your knee to be flexed. That actually protects the joint, protects the knee. So you want to do that. You're actually resting on the top part of the knee, not the calf itself. If you leave your leg extended, you're resting on the calf, which is very unstable and puts a lot of undue pressure on the knee. So, your final push-up, and you will get there, is you bring your legs up, keep your core engaged, Okay, that is a proper lady form push-up. So, I'll do a quick set. I'm not going to go for the entire four minutes. You can see I'm already drenched in sweat. A little out of breath just talking. But you know what, that's my own personal hell. So here we go. That's all you're going to get on this one. You can laugh, you can cry, you can do whatever you want. Four minutes of hell. Rock's best. Unfortunately, it's only down around the minute and a half mark. You'll find out why. Until then, fly safe. <laughs>